I, uh, I, I am, I'm not interrupting because he was saying nice things about you guys, uh, because I largely concur. Uh, when I first met Josh Ernest, uh, he was in Iowa. Uh, I think he was wearing jeans. He looked even younger than he was. Uh, and since my entire campaign depended on communications in Iowa, um, I gave him a, a pretty good uh, uh, once over. And there are a couple things I learned about him right away. Uh, number one, you know, he, he's just got that all-American matinee good-looking thing going. <laughs> That's helpful, let's face it. Face made for television. Then the guy's name is Josh Ernest, which if somebody's speaking on your behalf, uh, is a pretty good name to have. Uh, but what struck me most, in addition to his smarts and his maturity and his actual interest in the issues um, was his integrity. You know, there are people you meet who you have a pretty good inkling right off the bat are straight shooters and were raised to be fundamentally honest uh, and to treat people with respect. And there are times where that first impression turns out to be wrong and you're a little disappointed and you see uh, behind the curtain that there's spin and uh, some uh, hype and you know posturing going on. But then there's others who the longer you know them, the better you know them, uh, the more time you spend with them, the more you're tested under tough situations, uh, the more that initial impression is confirmed. Uh, and I have now known this guy for 10 years almost. And I've watched him grow, and I've watched him advance, and I've watched him marry, and I've watched him be a father, and I've watched him manage younger people coming up behind him and he's never disappointed he has always been the guy you wanted him to be um, and I think that you know you if you're the president of the United States and you find out that this is the guy who has been voted the most popular press secretary ever by the White House press corps that may make you a little nervous thinking, well, maybe the guy's kind of uh, you know, being too uh, solicitous towards, uh, towards the press. But the fact is, is that he was worthy of that admiration. Um, he was tough, and he didn't always give you guys everything he wanted, but he was always prepared. He was always courteous. He always tried to make sure that uh, he could share with you as much of our thinking and our policy and our uh, vision as possible and try to be as responsive as possible and that's how he trained uh, the rest of his team to be. Um, so, uh, you know, of, of, of the folks that I've had the great joy and pleasure of working with over the last 10 years uh, on this incredible journey, um, you know, this guy ranks as high as uh, just about anybody I've worked with. Uh, he is not only a great pre press secretary, but more importantly, uh, he is a really, really good man. Uh, and I'm really, really proud of him. So, Josh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And Natalie and uh, Walker, thanks for putting up with uh, all of this, because uh, they've made sacrifices too. Thank you, sir. Before you go, respond to Vladimir Putin. I'm going to be. Where were you going on Friday? <laughs>